Oh. We are the most consistent podcast on YouTube currently. Oh. Are we? Did, did we, uh, you sure? Yeah, dude. 142 episodes. 42 72. I thought it was 70. I was going to say. 172 episodes. So, it's currently 10, 16 on Central Standard Time. Which it's means that... I pulled this before 12. Yeah, okay. Well, that makes sense to me. I was legit just about to go to sleep. And then That's fine. Justin wake, finally wake responds. We got to do podcast sleep. You can do. You can sleep later on. You can sleep in twenty minutes. That's true. Let's talk about NXT versus AEW. Dude. One million viewers. AEW finally breaks one million viewers after since October. I believe October, like mid October of two thousand nineteen, almost one year since they debuted on uh, TNT. And it's what do you crazy. think? What do you think drew people in this week? I think. People not watching NXT because that extra 200,000 bump really helped them. Also, AW had a pay-per-view on Saturday, and people are intrigued. Who is the champion? Is MJF the champion? What's going to happen? Brody Lee versus The Natural. You know, that's, you that's think- big time uh, main event right there. Is Cody going to return, which he did not? So, that's yeah. true. I know that they announced, like, there was a couple of returns that were going to, or I'm sorry, debuts that were going to happen on Lucha uh, AW. versus Jurassic Express. That's what a big event. You know what's uh, funny? Mir- Mir- you know what I thought about? Well, I didn't think about that. But, like, it's funny how NXT literally gives a title change and a steel cage match on their show, can draw a million. AW, when you look at it, they're just using guys that they built up for the past year. There's no Young Bucks match. There's no Cody match. There's no Moxley match. And they draw a million viewers. Like, isn't that pretty crazy? Like, they didn't use their big stars to draw. They, actually, you know, they had a Jericho match, but he was in a tag match. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? He wasn't even in a singles match with uh, against Joey Janela. Was it Joey Janela and uh, Sonny so. Kiss? Yeah. I yeah. think so. Like, it's like proving how, oh, AEW is actually, like, people are like, oh, AEW doesn't build stars. They use WWE guys. Why are they signing all these WWE guys? Newsflash, they use their WWE guys that they sign, ex-WWE employees, yeah. you know, to get the stigma off them after a while. And, and they're using all these AEW guys none of you even heard about. Jurassic Express, Lucha Bros, MJF, Ward Low. Okay. You know what I mean? Derby can all I, in. Can Look I all ask this. a question? Yeah. Okay. And this is me, like, you know, half dead brain right now, like half tired. Like, what's the, what's the purpose of people complaining when another company signs a former WWE guy that got released by WWE? It's not like WWE was like, hey, we're going to trade you this talent for, you know, like, we're, we're going to trade you Rusev for, like, you know, Chris Jericho and you know like Marco Stunt or something you know what I mean like it's not like that like it's not like a, a sports team where people are like picking up you know and like they, they can't re-sign the free agent or something like that like like in this case like Rusev got let go or whatever 40 you know? people got let go from WWE in one day like you think they're not going to try to get new jobs like you know yeah. what I mean and everyone's so happy, like, oh, my God, Rusev Day, let's push this guy. This guy doesn't get a push. He gets treated like garbage. He gets in this garbage storyline with his wife and Bobby Lashley. He gets treated like a nobody, you know what I mean? Gets buried in the storyline. Gets fired. And now he's trying to make a name for himself somewhere else. And people are like, oh, my God, AEW signing too many WWE guys. What do you want him to do? Do you like, think... Do you, you think want that the guys to get pushed somewhere? They go somewhere else to try to get like a name or do something, and then you get mad for them going going somewhere else. Make up your mind. Do you think that the consumers of the comp- of the products of the company that you work for are mad that you came from whatever company you just left? Like, like you know what I mean? Like they like care, it, like they did. They care about your resume. Like they if care you jump you ship from paper. Amazon to go to Walmart, like are people that shop at Walmart like, wow, like I, I can't believe there's so many oh, Amazon look at this employees. Former Amazon employee right here. No, <laughs> like for what us are we now. Doing? Like, do you is, think? Do you think when 
I'll give you the Kawhi example. When Kawhi came from the what it was the Spurs to the Raptors, did we call him a, a ex Spurs guy? No, he's a Raptor now. You think when the Kawhi left for the Raptors to go to the Clippers? Oh, look at this former Raptor player. No, no, no. He's a Clipper now. You know what I mean? And it, it could be the reversal where it's like every time when I look, okay, here, here we go. I look at NXT and all I see is indie Ring of Honor guys. No, so can, it's PWG. Mel just said it best because someone replied like, oh my God, NXT, AEW is like WWE thing. It's like, well, then takeovers are PWG shows. The what? Takeovers are just PWG shows. Yeah, pretty much. You know, like they really are. Like, remember War Games? It was ROH versus PWG. That's pretty much what it was. Mm-hmm. If ROH and PWG had an uh, invasion angle, like when worlds collide, yeah. that would have been War Games last year. I'm just going to go around and say, wow, like I can't believe NXT using all these uh, PWG guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe NXT used New Japan. Their former junior heavyweight of New Japan Pro Wrestling is now the NXT champion. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Finn Balor. I forgot he won the title. Yeah, there you go. Dude, that's a And you know what's funny? Like, you know what makes head. it more funny? I, I go on Alvarez's, like, he tweets the ratings. You go for Raw, 183 retweets, 1,600 favorites. NXT rating, 151 retweets, I mean, 1,983 likes now you're looking too much into it but no, 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 no. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on Let's it's see if they hit this field goal people's reaction about these ratings of how people like like people like oh we don't care about the ratings but people react to the most aw ratings 2200 retweets eighteen thousand likes it's 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 funny it's like you know people like love to like um react to that i wish nxt would just stay on tuesdays you know what i mean if NXT stayed Tuesdays, AEW would be averaging a million to a million point one viewers. NXT will be averaging eight hundred nine hundred thousand viewers, and yeah, every, all all would be good in wrestling. But no, Vince needs to compete with AEW to lower that view the viewership, uh, potentially trying to beat them so mm-hmm. they could be the greatest wrestling company ever. You know, on TV. I'll wait until Tony Khan buys a or buys WWE because then it's going to be. I never- there's a joke. See, it's more of like a if it happens, then I'll be that one crazy person, like you know. But it's just funny to think about. Could you imagine Vince like getting handed a check from Tony Khan to buy the entire company and like Triple H is like I can't afford Vince's company. You wouldn't sell it. Vince would never sell to him. He'd probably sell to Disney or something or ESPN or whatever. And then Tony Khan would buy Disney. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, I, I don't even know what days this shows are on this week. Like, I'm all screwed up now. It's NXT the same day. It will happen before the Jags win the Super Bowl. Do the Jags are like, the Jags are going to get uh, Trevor Lawrence next year, and they probably still won't win the Super Bowl for a couple, like, you know, for a couple decades. You know what I mean? Decades. Yeah. You're going to say years? Because I'm like, no way it's years. I was going to say years, and then I was like, this, hold on. The same, like, remember that time you said the Jags didn't win? I'm like, well, I guess I was wrong, you know? Unless they go all in. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they just sign everybody under the sun. Like, if, if Tony Khan hits big with AEW, and, like, let's say, like, someone wants to buy it for, like, you know, like, billions of dollars, then he could be like, all right, you know what? We're going to go get this player. We're going to get that player. We're going to get that player. I- I think Tony Khan. Well, you can't really do that because salary cap. But I think Tony Khan won't sell AEW. I think it's no. like his project for life. You know, it's his like uh, it's it's his like fix fed. You know what I mean? Like it's his company. Yeah, it's it, Rob versus SmackDown. You're the Booker and the and the thing. Yeah, he's playing with his figures. They just happen to be real people. What do you think about fig feds, dude? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> like, I'm trying I to figure to, it out. Like, my version of a fig fed I used to do was when you like do it on like a wrestling game. Yeah, I guess. Like I used to like when I was a kid, I would like you know book shows. I feel like everyone did that. I, I book shows, but not on. I just book shows on wrestling games, not with figures. I would do it with figures. Okay. I do stop well, I motions. I do. I, I, I would do stop motions. I never had that many figures. I have more figures now than when I was a kid. Really? Yes. 
a one thousand percent. It sounds like that would be like a comedy bit. Like I know. Hey, stupid cat trying to bite me again. So let's talk about this cat. Is this cat like out to get you, or is he like an XT fan, or like what's the deal? This cat is like an emo cat, dude. You pet it too much, it starts scratching you. It starts, mm-hmm. it wants to bite you. It is not a hard bite. It's very light. You know what I mean? Can we get an interview it's like, it's like with? You go like, hey, stop what you're doing. You know? Can we get an interview with this cat? You when you come here, you'll meet the cat. If you pet the cat too much, the pat the cat will run away. It'll attempt to bite you. You'll probably get your hand away out of the way. You might get your hand bit a little bit. It doesn't hurt. It's like a little like it's like a like a nibble. You know what I mean? Do you think it's like, if it's do like you think stop petting me? If we go to that Raptors game against the Bucks, do the Raptors end up winning back to back championships? What? No, that doesn't. It doesn't work like that. I think it does. The Raptors lost yesterday, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm saying if they if if I, if we go to that 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 game against the Bucks, I think they still end up winning the championship again. Oh, you're talking about they win next year. No, no, no. I'm saying like this past year. No, they don't win. What do you mean? The Bucks got eliminated, and the number one and number two seed got eliminated. The same. And what the, I'm saying the- is, if if I go to that game, they end up winning this year, but because that game got canceled. They obviously lost yesterday, so they're oh, not going to win this year. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You're saying if they won, they would be the number one seed. So thanks for listening to this episode. Uh, Justin's got to upload this before in the next 30 minutes so we can post it on Saturday. Be uploading less than three minutes. That's it. We'll talk to you. Tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs>